Hello, this is Roman X, and welcome to episode 4 of my Let's Play for Coop Life. So, Roman, your uh, favorite little bat here. <laughs> what a cute little fellow. Anyway, um, not having a great morning so far. Um, I had, first off, I had some issues I ran into. I was having some... Uh, transfer issues and stuff. I'll, I'll get into those in a moment. Uh, but, you know, I finally, you know, redid parts and cobbled uh, enough stuff together. I thought I could put a, an episode together in post-production. And I go to do my video editing and the audio on every single segment I did was garbled. Uh, it was, so I, I went and looked I hadn't changed any uh, settings anywhere I finally rebooted Windows and uh, well that seems to fix the problem and everything seems to be okay right now um, it's kind of unfortunate because I had been doing a lot of breeding of uh, chickens and uh, wanted to show those and had you know, finished off some of this uh, this build here and well <laughs> now I've lost all that footage um, and I didn't feel like uh, trying to do voice over uh, the old footage uh, to try to recover some of it. So I figured I would just start over. And that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so first, what I have here... Hello. Am I still in bat form? I should be. What are you doing to me? That form is not working. Hello. Uh, I'm not flying for some reason. As I say, it is not a good day. My bat cannot fly. Well, this is going to make things uh, a little more challenging. I don't know why my bat form is not working. I show up as a bat, but I can't fly. Huh. Okay. Well, scratch that then. I'll have to figure that out later. Anyway, what I did here, uh, I have a bunch of nesting pens. I've set these up as pairs so that I can control the breeding in them. Now, what I had done before, when I had a whole pile over there, I was just kind of getting some random uh, uh, crossbreeds from them. Uh, basically, a chicken will, in a nesting box, basically any adjacent nesting box to either side, uh, front or back, uh, it has a chance of randomly uh, crossbreeding with one of those. It doesn't work top to bottom, but it works off to the sides. But I wanted to control which ones I was getting. Uh, in here, I just made a huge pen, just for throwing extra chickens in, or you know, chickens maybe I didn't really care too much about. I made a range collector from Actually Editions. Now, this does not require power. Uh, it will collect uh, in a six-block radius. Now, I am having some issues with stuff kind of getting caught around the edges of the fence. Uh, I thought maybe I originally had it like out one one more block in every direction, uh, and that was happening. And I thought, well, maybe uh, it's because you know, I got fences there and they're not really full tiles, so I brought it all in one. I'm still having the issue, so I think it's just because they're fences. I think I'd have to go to solid blocks, and then that problem would would probably go away. Uh, underneath that uh, range collector. I have a uh, transfer node for items from Extra Utilities 2, some transfer pipe running down, and uh, I can actually dig up some of the dirt here to show that. Uh, it runs down to here, uh, and under this uh, drawer controller from storage drawers. Then I have uh, some more uh, transfer pipe here coming off of the uh, the nests, and I'm going to break some of this because I am going to show you how that is set up. All right, so we've got. Let me dig down one more. 
Alright, so you can see we've got the transfer nodes here under each of these, transfer pipe, and they connect to each of the nesting boxes. Now, there's very limited options for item transfer in this pack. Uh, probably the cheapest, at least in terms of mods, would be these extra utility transfer pipes. They're just not terribly efficient. They're actually quite horrendous uh, in terms of performance. And basically, if something's in there, let's see if I put, uh, I'll stick that in there. You'll see that what happens is the the node's going to start scanning along segments of the pipe. And it's not very quick. And it's going to check each segment of the pipe. Um, so if you have a very long run, it's going to take a while before it will get to an inventory. To make matters worse, every time there's an intersection, it's going to randomly choose which direction to, to be looking along. And where I have, you know, I had a an intersection here where I've got the range collector input coming in. And I have this stuff coming in. And then if I was to break this, you'll see that I've got, you know, the same setup over there. And I had an intersection here. Um, so stuff coming out of these nesting boxes, it, you know, the, the node might start looking back along this way, looking for a place to put it. And, you know, when I really want to go that way and, and go into the uh, drawer controller. And if it doesn't go into the drawer controller because I've got a drawer set up for it, then I want to go into the storage crate. Same thing with stuff coming out of there. But I don't want stuff coming out of the range collector trying to go out to the nesting boxes. Now, the way you uh, can fix some of that is with the wrench from Extra Utilities. It's pretty easy to, to make. Um, let me just show the recipe for it real quick. It's just three iron ingots, a red die, and a piece of redstone. That'll give you the wrench. Now, if we right-click on a piece of uh, this transfer pipe, uh, we will basically be able to block a section of it. Now, I'm gonna, I don't want to start messing around with that because I've got it working. But I'm just going to throw uh, a segment down here and show you what I mean. So, we actually have three pieces of pipe here. Let me put a little bit more down just so it's a little bit clearer. Now. Each piece of pipe uh, basically has two ends and a center piece. The center piece is where, you know, if we had an intersection, that's where it would go. If I take the, the, the wrench and I right-click one end of the pipe, you're going to see that it changes. Basically, what that is saying is stuff is allowed to enter the pipe from this end, but is not allowed to go out. So basically, it means stuff will, can transfer from right to left here but not the other direction. Uh, clicking, I can just turn it off. All right, so if I do this, right, stuff can come into this section of pipe from either direction, but can't go anywhere. That basically is a block, a blocked pipe. I can't, not, nothing's going to happen. I've basically just blocked this path off completely. So I went, I tuned these up and uh, got that uh, not perfect, but you know, it's still slow, but at least it's not taking as many uh, you know, invalid paths to check as it was before, so that uh, does help a lot. And let's just cover these back up. Also, it seems to be a little bit laggy. So I've got the storage drawer. What I did is I, I locked the drawers. I made a key. I locked these so that uh, I, you know I only want certain things to go in here. Um, you know we have all these different eggs being produced. They all have different stats. Each one of those, you know, if I was trying to put them in storage drawers, each one of these is basically separate. They won't stack any any better than that. So I, I don't really need to you know, set up storage drawers for every single one of these. It just wouldn't accomplish anything. Um, feathers, you know, I've, I've got so many feathers, I don't know what to do with them. You know, the, the eggs. I actually took some eggs uh, and released e uh, chickens out into the wild. Now, I did have a few uh, 
eggs that I did that I don't I, I saved I put signs up here a to help me keep straight what's what and let me go sleep real quick because it's dark um, make it easier to see My little wormies out there all alone okay so I put some signs up I'll take those out later I put some signs up just to show what I was doing for the mutations, but uh, I have some that you know, I've done before and I pulled things up. Uh, I got lead eggs by, I think it was iron and coal, and that gives you a chance to either get a lead one or a steel one. So I got both of those. Um, I uh, wanted to make uh, a copper chicken. Okay, and for copper chicken, I need a yellow chicken and a cocoa brown or cacao, depends how you prefer to pronounce it. Um, needed two of those. Well, the the yellow chicken's pretty easy to make because I just went out and got a yellow flour, made yellow dye. A vanilla egg and the yellow dye gives me a yellow uh, chicken. But to make this uh, brown chicken, I needed uh, to use a red chicken and that's just red dye with a uh, chicken egg a vanilla chicken egg and a cactus green uh, chicken which is uh, cactus green made from smelting cactus and a vanilla egg so I did that I, I got I got those chickens and I believe we have copper in here now uh, that's a redstone where's the I, I think I might have I probably put it in one of my nesting areas. Is it down here? It's not down there. Okay, so it, it's in the big pen. But I did get a copper egg, and there should be a copper chicken in there. Do we have any? I haven't seen any copper ingots yet, though. But I'm pretty sure I stuck a, uh, a copper chicken egg in there. Uh, well. Uh, I also made, uh, what else did I make? Um, I, I apologize because this just got confused. This is a cactus green egg. Uh, I made this silver egg, a redstone chicken egg. Now let's see, I should have the recipes for that. Uh, a redstone chicken. Uh, you need a red chicken and sand chicken, and that can give you a redstone egg. Um, I also have started working on a gold chicken. And a gold chicken, I need a yellow and an iron. Come around the back here, some others that I'm starting to work on. Uh, I can make silver. I think I already got it, actually. It's iron and bone. It gives me silver. And actually, if I take that bone and put it with this green one, Pretty sure I saw a silver egg there, so I'll throw him in here. Now, these guys should be able to make, at some point, a nickel chicken. And uh, I also made tin, which was clay and bone. I've got tin going already. So, <laughs> those are a bunch of chickens. Now, there are some other things I would love to have. Uh, but some of them are going to require chickens from the nether. Uh, I'll need like a nether quartz chicken. Um, and with a nether quartz chicken, there's you know, some other things I'll be able to make like diamond and emerald and nether quartz, uh, obviously, uh, as a drop from it. Uh, lava chicken, which uh, requires, uh, I believe it requires the nether, nether quartz and something else I don't remember. But that's uh, you know that's basically uh, you know, how you would just keep breeding up different kinds of chickens. Uh, most of them kind of build upon each other. There's a few that you can only get out in the wild if you look in uh, uh, JEI at the chickens. You'll see uh, some can't be bred. You know, like sand chickens, you only find those in the wild. Some of these have uh, recipes where you can make them. Um, like as I said, we made the yellow one. You know, it's, it's a vanilla egg, yellow dye. 
Um, others will show you what the uh, what the breeding is. Um, there are different tabs here. Some of them, uh, like you know, well, it's got the breeding. I'll find one here that uh, doesn't show or shows more than one thing. Some of them have recipes. Some of them are bred. All right, so these, these are ones that are bred. So a slag chicken, two slag chickens could give you a rich slag chicken. Netherwart chicken, so this is where I need to get and the brown and a glowstone. And to get glowstone, you need a nether quartz chicken, and that's only available in the nether. A yellow chicken, which you craft, that'll get you a glowstone chicken. Uh, okay, and it's like, you know, that'll give you glowstone, but I can breed that with the tin chicken and get lumium, or the brown chicken and get netherwort. So if you play around and sort of, you know, work your way through these, you'll see, you know, what kinds of combinations, and they, they build on each other. Thank you so much for that manure. Well, I know this was kind of a short episode today, uh, probably welcome after all my long ones, but, you know, with all the issues I was having, uh, I just, you know, I couldn't really show all the stuff that I'd shown before. I kind of did a summary. Uh, next episode, uh, we'll probably go uh, to the nether, try to get some of those nether chickens. Uh, if you like the episode, please leave a like. Constructive comments are always welcome. And until next time, this is Roman X. See you soon.